welcome back to this video and i am not in my house so this is why the view is different but yeah we are going to be breaking tales for track days so let's just get right into it number 10 is gold rush okay listen gold rush is number 10 because it repeats like it's not new it's the lyrics go and then they repeat that's why i mean i like the melody and i love the song but i just feel like it's not up to par with the rest of the songs onto this list so yeah, that's why it is number 10, because it repeats first off. I like it, but it's a little repetitive. Yeah. Nine is Treacherous, and I love Treacherous, don't get me wrong. Treacherous is only good when the bridge starts. For the rest of the song, it's a little boring to me. But once the bridge gets going, I love Treacherous. So that is why it's number nine, because I really, really like the bridge. Then the rest is just okay to me. Number eight, though, is Last Great American Dynasty. I love how this song flows and I love the storytelling that is in this song. It's just not my favorite compared to all the other track threes on this list. Yeah, it's basically, the track threes, I don't have a much, much word for. <laughs> I mean, they're good, but I don't have a lot of word for a lot of them. Number seven is Antihero. I love Antihero, don't get me wrong. But like I said, it is just not up to par with all the other songs on this list. Like, it is nowhere near the two drops of my guitars and back to December's. It, it nowhere near. I love Antihero, I love, I love the first two verses. The, the chorus is not my favorite thing in the world, but it is not the worst thing. And the bridge is where it kind of loses me though, because I'm just like, what are we talking about? I feel like a bridge is more reflective of what the song was about than just a random nightmare dream. I think the nightmare dream could have been its own song on its own, and then Antihero could have continued as it is. But yeah, that's just my opinion on that. Number six is Teardrops on My Guitar, and I love this song. It is, it is the precursor to You Belong With Me. Of course I love this song. I just feel like the other songs on this list are a lot better, and her song written was a lot better than a lot of the other songs on this list, and that's why it is number six. But I love Teardrops on My Guitar, do not get me wrong. Number five is Love Story. Love Story is a fucking cult classic. It is one of the most classic Taylor songs. Everybody knows this damn song. It is amazing, it is great. I love Love Story. Same with Teardrops on My Guitar. The other songs are just a lot better than this song, in my opinion immediately gets you into a great mood and i love it before is i did something bad and i love i did something bad do not get me wrong i love this song it is a highlight on reputation do not get me wrong with that one i love i love the instruments in this song i love the beat i love the production i love the lyrics i love how sassy it is i just love this song like i said it's the same a lot of the track are really good but a lot of them are better than the other right so all the other songs above this are much better than this song in my opinion Number three is Lover. Lover, the album, should have been what this song is. I love Lover, should have been the lead single in my opinion. Lover is one of the best love songs and I just love what it stands for. It just instantly puts you into that feel good mood. Like I love Lover. I love the lyrics, it's so, it's wholesome to me and I love the wholesomeness of it. Number two is Style, bitch. Style may be my favorite song from 1989 at this point because I've been streaming that song like no tomorrow. I love Style. We need Style featuring Harry Styles. That will solve all the problems in the world. But yeah, Style, I love I love the cadence. I love the lyrics. I love the passion that is in Style. That is... It's literally my highlight from 1989. I love Style. It's my, one of my favorites from that era. But number one is Back to December. I just love what this song stands for. It's just, you acknowledge that you did something wrong and you really want the product of what you did wrong to change and you want to change and you want, and you want to just fix everything and you admit that you're the problem. Hey, it's me, I'm the problem, hi. I've, I would do anything. I remember all the good things that happened with us. I remember everything, but I would do anything to get you back to where we were before. And I love that about this song. It is great, and I love that it is her first Maybe I'm the Problem song, and it is really just a fuck you to critics, and I cannot wait to hear this be recorded. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I knew it was kind of short, but I didn't really have a lot to say on the track of these, because they're all great, Like, but some are just better, and that's really my only critique and my only point of thought here. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. See you all next time. I am coming out with a video about Speak Now and the recent dating rumors. Yeah. We have to cover that only once because I don't want it to overcloud everything else. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time and bye.